Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial from IraFX. So in this video we'll be learning to make this TV turn on effect along with TV turn off or TV switch off effect in a very simple way. So I already have a video in my project. Let me right click on this and click on new sequence from clip so that a sequence will be created with that video settings. So let me play this video for you. There's this basic drone shot and I would like to add a TV turn on or TV switch on effect right at the beginning. So I'll zoom in a bit and I'll go to around 10 frames forward from the beginning. So at the 10th frame, I'll select my video and I'll go to the effect controls and I'll uncheck this uniform scale so that we'll be able to keyframe both the scale height and scale width. I'll click on this timer button here for scale height and width so that a keyframe is created at the 10th frame. And now I'll move around 5 frames backward. I'm using left arrow key. So at the 5th frame, I'll change the scale height to around 3 okay and i'll click on this diamond button here for the scale width as well so that a keyframe is created and i'll go to around first frame and i'll change the scale width to zero so now if i start playing the video you can see that this is how the video opens up this is how the tv turn on effect happens and in order to make this much interesting at the 10th frame I'll go to the effects panel and type in brightness so you have this effect called brightness and contrast in the color correction folder I'll drag this onto my drone shot here and I'll click on this timer button here for brightness and I'll set the value to 0 and I'll move 2 frames backward so at 8th frame I'll set the brightness value to 100 so now the video is always bright until it opens up and you'll have some sort of flicker effect as soon as it opens up. Alright, so this is how you make a TV switch on effect and the procedure for the TV turn off effect is quite same. So at this point, I'll click on this diamond button here for scale height and scale width so that a keyframe will be created at this point. I'll move around five frames forward. I'm using my right arrow key and I'll change the scale height to around three. I'll click on this diamond button here so that a keyframe will be created at this point as well. And I'll move five more frames forward and change the scale width to zero. So you can add the same brightness and contrast effect at this point as well. So at this point, I'll set the brightness value to 0 and after 2 frames I'll set this to 100 and there you go you'll have some sort of TV switch off effect at this point here perfect you can add some background music or a sound effect as soon as you have some TV saw so if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how we'll have some TV turn on effect and we'll have a TV turn off effect like this. You can add some basic sound effects to make this much interesting. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time with another tutorial.